Hey, my name is Wildzilla, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Studio Series Gamer Edition 03, Optimus Prime. You may remember back then my Studio Series Gamer Edition Megatron review. And while that figure still holds up and I really like him, Optimus Prime is just a lot better. And over the course of time between this guy's review and this guy's review, I was able to get my hands on some more Gamer Edition figures. But these guys are for another video. And this guy, I've already reviewed. Oh god. Let's just get into it. The painting and sculpting on this figure is great. Through some of the red elements, you can see this hexagonal sculpting. And even on his thighs, he has mechanical details sculpted in. I am really loving the smaller details being appreciated. Sure, you could argue that these hexagonal parts aren't painted red, but the details are sculpted. What more could you ask for? And these Autobot logos are printed perfectly. Even some of the red hexagonal parts here are a nice shade of red, so they don't all mix. Onto his head. It's sculpted really nicely. A lot of the details are captured. Unpainted, but they're there. Now let's get into the main reason why I bought this figure! Oh my god, it's a Matrix Chamber. I love the gunmetal silver they went with here. And let's talk about the actual Matrix itself. And the beautiful Matrix leadership here is painted and sculpted really nicely. But if you flip it over, you can tell which shy you're supposed to plug it into. Unfortunately, no one in the line can hold it, except Optimus, but that's in his chamber. But I'm glad I have a Matrix now. Now let's talk about the Matrix chamber without actually talking about the Matrix. This is definitely where most of the sculpting went into. All these wires and whatever this fan thing is there. And surprisingly, none of it all is mixed. What I'm saying is, I feel like on a lot of cheaper figures, this would either be barely sculpted, or not sculpted at all. Even this little pin for the transformation, which we'll get into later, kind of blends in, if you think about it. But now, let's get his matrix back into his chamber, and get on with the full review. Now, obviously, the front of the figure is amazing, but if we spin him around, he has a big old backpack. And from what I've seen, this backpack is game accurate. But something that's not as game accurate are his feet backpacks. Sure, I don't mind, it doesn't bother me that much. Actually, you know what, I don't care because if his legs were cheaper made, we would have ended up with it. But now, let's get into his accessories. You first get this big ol' Energon axe, which you can split into multiple different pieces. And these pieces allow you to configure the axe however you want. So you can have a really tiny axe, a slightly bigger tiny axe, or the default big boy. But there's another feature where you can split the blade in half and you can have a bigger axe. I really like the gimmick, but... Yeah, no, I like to keep it like this. I love the concept, I love the idea, I just don't like how this is just sitting there, I don't like it. But like every other weapon on every other figure in the world, all you gotta do is just slide it into his hand and position it however you want. And now you can give Baver's Prime a run for his money. I really like the axe. It matches with the figure, the overall size of the figure, and I just, I don't know, I, I'm, I love the axe. And now, if we bring in this accessory, which you can apply by ripping off his arm and plugging that in as a replacement, you can allow him to give payback to Babers Megatron. Wow, I have a lot of Babers jokes. How violent was he in the movies again? But seriously, I really like this gun. And it's ever so slightly bigger than Megatron's cannon. And if you don't like his ion blaster, why would you not like his ion blaster? You can say, screw this thing and give Optimus Prime Megatron's fusion cannon. With the help of this hole on the back of the cannon, you can mix and match weapons. But if you don't like a big boy handling big guns, why wouldn't you like a big boy handling big guns? You can have Optimus Prime carry this gun. 
which you apply the same way as I said earlier. Obviously, when you mix and match guns, it's kind of look a, a little bit disproportionate. But hey, it's a nod to the game, and I like it. But if you don't like this gun, you can swap it for something even smaller. And with the same way you applied Megatron, Barricade, and Optimus' regular gun, you can give him Cliff Jumper and or Bumblebee's gun. But like I said with Barricade's gun, it looks extremely disproportionate and I don't like it. But if you really hate big guns, you can also give him this one. And now you can have Prime Tail Megatron, that size doesn't matter. I really wish that's what she said. But anyway, let's get these guns out of here, we don't need them. Wait a minute, I, I just got a really good idea. Maybe if we take a piece of Prime's axe and we grab Cliff Jumper's sword. Oh. So I guess you can mix, mix and match weapons. I literally just thought of this and uh, I actually really like it. It's like a little spear. Um, okay, I'm gonna give Cliff Jumper his sword back now. But now, let's get into his transformation. Before getting into his transformation, make sure that his matrix chamber is fully closed, i.e. it means it is all clicked in. You have to do this step a little later, but you can just do it whenever. So when you're swiveling these around, they can only go one way. Do not try to push them more outward. Just leave it how it is because then you don't need to break it. And here we have War for Cybertron Optimus's truck mode. I really do like the overall sleek design of the truck. Sure, you could argue that the parts in here are a bit wonky, but I don't mind it. You even get some more of that detail right in there. But if you flip them around, sadly, they are exposing his hands here. I This is probably the worst part of the alt mode. Sure, this bothers everyone, including myself. It's just so awkward. They probably could have made another f uh, little thing that covers it, but it probably would have made the legs even chonkier, so I'm not complaining. Unless you really want to count this little gap that you can stick your finger into. Now, there's like virtually no problems at all with the alt mode, apart from what I just told you. But if you flip it over, even still, beside the arms, there's really not much kibble under here. The head is like uh, below this tab, and unless you want to count that you can see his butt and the hands, there's really not much to talk bad about here. But you do got some weapon storage. If you've noticed on the gun, there's these two tabs, and on the feet, there's these two holes. You can plug the gun into the holes. And now he just looks like a super cool battle tank. I really like this, it's just, you could probably put a little minifigure on the gun, but I don't have creativity. And if you bring back the axe, 
you can tap the axe onto the gun. Why would anyone do this? And eh, whatever, we won't really be needing these anyway. Now let's get into articulation and size comparisons. Alright, I forgot to talk about articulation earlier, but it's better late than never. Optimus Prime has a great ball joint at the head. He can look up really high up. And look down, not at all. Head can move side to side and can swivel. Arm can move out. And that can extend more for the transformation, but you can get a fake butterfly joint out of it. Optimus, put that down! But I'm gonna get cancelled! You get a bicep swivel and elbow bend, and a wrist swivel. Waist swivel! Legs can kick up really high up, and back like not at all. You get a thigh swivel, bend at the knee, and a pretty good pivot. Posability on this figure is great. Alright, let's get into size comparisons before I make Prime punch you. This Optimus Prime is a good size for a Voyager class. Here is the Voyager class Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime, Pseudo Series Deluxe class Cliff Jumper, and for an excuse just to get some shots with these two fighting each other, Voyager class War for Cybertron Megatron. I love this figure. Go pick him up if you can. This figure is more on the rarer side. I wish you the best of luck if you can find them on a good price, or you could just find them anywhere in general retail. But yeah, that was my review on the Studio Series Gamer Edition Transformers War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing. And maybe share my content around, it helps out the channel. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.